Hey, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, it is your boy Codextual, and we have a Xbox here. We're going to be setting up a static IP address instead of a dynamic IP address. And we're going to be talking about the benefits. So a static IP address means the IP address will always remain the same. A dynamic IP address will means it will change every time that you turn it on, right? Okay, so this will work internally on the network. If you want to actually change your IP address, whatever your ISP, your internet service provider has assigned you, go to ipjicken.com, that's your actual IP. This tutorial is just for the internal networks within your local network, whatever your router slash modem has assigned you. So if you're thinking, oh, if I change my IP address on a local network, people can't boot me off or whatever the reason may be. If that's the case, I have a separate video for that. But the benefits for chain, or for having a static IP address is if you're having a uh, port forward or if the Xbox is always conflicting with another IP address that's on the network, uh, UPnP, service port forwarding, uh, there's a lot of benefits towards a static IP. Anyways. Let's get on with the video, and if you guys can do me one big happy favor is to hit that red button, that said subscribe, hit the post notifications. Every time that I upload a video or a live stream, come through, uh, you'll be informed. When I do live stream, say hi, or if you have any questions, that's what I'm here for, and I'll answer it best to my capability. Anyways, so to get towards where I'm at is you need to go to your settings, and it'll say network, then network settings, then you'll go towards your advanced settings. Now this will work on wired or wireless. And now we're back here. So please make note and where it says IPv4 and IPv6. Once we change the IPv4, IPv6 will follow. You do not have to make any changes towards the IPv6. But on the IPv4, where it says subnet mask and gateway, copy down those numbers. You will be needing those numbers. So if we move over towards our desktop, uh, let me bring that here. I have a pre-filled of IP address examples. So mine says 10.0.0.117. Yours may say 192.168.0 or 0.1 or 0.2, then following the number after that. So we can change that number anywhere between 2 and 255. Some routers go up to 2 and 254. And if you choose 2 as your number at the beginning and it doesn't work, then change it to 3. So anywhere between 3 and 254 is your safe range. So... Um, I hope that this makes sense. So you're going to be copying your your first section, then dot, second section, dot, then your third section, then dot, and we're actually going to change the last section of the IP addressing. So let's go ahead and go towards our um, Xbox here. So you're going to, again, you're going to copy down the subnet mask and gateway. You're going to keep that the same as you see it. Not on here, but what you see it on your console. Now we're going to go ahead and go to IP address. We're going to go to manual. And I want to set mine at 10.0.0. So again, um, the first three sections that I filled in, put it with those numbers that you're router has assigned you then we're going to move on to the last section and this is where you're going to pre-fill it with anywhere between essentially it's 2 and 255 but if you have problems it's anywhere between 3 and uh 254 so i just want to have um i'm just going to put an 110 and I know because no other device on my network has 10.0.0.110. And the subnet mask is always going to be 255.255.255.0. Unless yours is different, make sure you copy that information of what you previously saw and you'll be fine. And for whatever reason you have problems, um, setting up a manual static IP address, then leave things at automatic, don't touch it, you'll, you'll be back where you were. Then the gateway, so again, whatever your gateway was, set that back up. Then we go ahead and enter, and now it's assigning the IP address, so give it a second, there it is. So now that I've claimed my 10.0.0.110, 
And um, yeah, that's how to set up a static IP address on your Xbox. I'm going to be doing this for the Nintendo Switch and the PS4. Um, it's similarly the same. If you guys want to watch that, then feel free. But uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Y'all take care. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up and share this on all of your social media. You guys take care. Thank you for sticking around. Please feel free to watch my other videos. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, follow my social media. If you're feeling generous, check out my Patreon or send in a donation of any amount with PayPal. It really helps out with post-production, equipment, food in my belly, and also continue making free content for you guys. Links in the description. Y'all take care, and thank you once again.